All right, welcome back to the Chemical Man Podcast Show. I'm your host, Chris. Today, I want to talk about valves and different things out here because some people have a hard time with that out there in the workforce. So if you look down here, I'm out here with my pool today on my pool equipment. And I got a couple valves here that, you know, some people have a hard time knowing, some people don't know. So when you see a valve like this, that's the closed position. So you'd be surprised. Some people ask in interviews about valves, different things like that. They really can't tell you which way a valve is open and which way it's closed. It just, hey, you know what? Well, we can laugh about that later, but right now let's go on a serious note. Okay. So anyway, so if you look at this right here, this is a suction right here is the discharge of my pump. And right now I have it closed. If I want to open it up, this goes to more waterfalls on my pool. If I want to open it up. I'll just go like this. Boom. The valve is showing this way open. And that means it's going with the flow of the pipe, with the flow of the chemicals. So that shows it's open on there. All right. If I want to close it, close that. That shows it's closed. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You know, when you're out in the field and you're doing work and you're looking at things, don't uh, don't just go start closing random valves and stuff like that. Walk out your line, look at different things because you never know. Because if you're because if this is a discharge of a pump and you were to close it off that, then you're going to deadhead your pump and you can cause multiple things. I've seen fires come off a of pump. I've seen pump spray out the side. I've seen the seals leak. I've seen it all. Just depending on what kind of material it is on there. It can, it can do a lot of harm. So don't ever just go, throw, don't ever close the valve 100% and then expect the pump to do. I know some of my pumps have um, extra precaution on there. If it loses flow, the pump will shut off and it's a safeguard on there. So if you want to throttle the pump back, you would just open it up a little bit like that. If you need more flow, less flow, you, you mess with that right here on there. If you need full flow, you open it up. But this is to show you closed. Fully open, and then from there. And then if I come around here, I'll show you on here. I want to show you the uh, check valve. So if you look right here, there's a check valve in, in the process. And if you see right here, it says flow. has a little arrow pointing that way. And then right here, and there's a little, a little flap. So you can kind of see it moving right there. You can kind of see it not, but as soon as that flow were to stop that little valve that little uh piece of metal will close and that's your check valve on there to prevent backflow from anything so you should be able to see an arrow on check valves and show you which way stuff goes it goes the right way on that flow then if you come over here to my water you're going to see right here there's a valve indicator that shows you which way the flow of the water goes and waste ways down, there's a little check valve in here, right here. So nothing can prevent back up. Open your valve, turn your water on, let it go back. So these are things in the field you can look for as far as the way the arrows go for check valves and stuff. And you know, if it's, it, you'll know the way of the flow going for your chemical. Same thing with pressure regulators. I got a pressure regulator over here on the pool. If you look, there's a little arrow right there. Flow from my gas comes up, goes through the pressure regulator into my heater. But if you look, it shows you which way the flow should go on there. If you have the arrow pointing down, more than likely it's put in backwards. Can't tell you how many times we've done shutdowns and startups and come back later and looked in there. And the next thing you know, the arrow is pointing in the opposite way, not the right way. So you have to shut everything down, start your thing back up. You get them to put the, uh, um, <clears throat> Check valve in the right spot on there. So these are the different things you look at for out here. Make sure you don't deadhead your pumps. Make sure you know, like this, this right here is my suction from my pool comes up, goes out. There's a vent valve. Make sure when you look at that, when you look at your pumps out there, you got bleeds. Make sure the bleeds are closed. Make sure there, there's no bleeds open or something before you start a pump. You don't want to get sprayed when you shut something down. Open up your bleed, drain everything out, close it on there. You know, same thing for over on the other pump. So if you have a pool or anything like that, then more than likely you can kind of trace lines and stuff like that and figure out different pumps. But anyway, if you want to come over here. Hey, hi. Hi. There you go. We'll come over here and show y'all that, you know, just look for these little arrows when you're out there in the field. And if you, if you see something that looks like a check valve, make sure the arrow's flowing the right way. 
you know, if you have a check bag where you can see stuff, look for like little flaps in there. Sometimes, sometimes when you're doing troubleshooting, if you can't get a flow through a pump, all you got to do is go out there and just bang the side of the check valve. It might be stuck. Open up for you. Just never know what you might have in there on there. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good day. You know, uh, y'all be safe. Take it easy. It's hot. <laughs> Stay cool. Anyway, um, if you need help with your resumes or interview questions or anything like that, just hit me up. I got everything. I'll be more than happy to do it and see, see what I can do for your resume. Uh, the email will be listed on the uh, description below. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Till next time, uh, y'all be safe and stay cool. Talk to you later. Bye.